the population is growing quickly and the demand for energy along with it. As long as you are a human being on the earth, we need energy. There is 1.5 billion people over the earth that don't have electricity. We're really struggling to keep up with energy demand across the globe. The fossil fuels that we're using are doing serious damage to the climate. We keep increasing carbon dioxide production and uh, it's still going uh, say in the wrong direction. We have to find a solution. We have the potential and the capabilities to have cleaner sources of energy and more diverse sources of energy as well. Fusion is basically when two hydrogen isotopes fuse together. They create a neutron, and this neutron has more energy than you could possibly imagine. So much energy, there was nothing to stop them. If it was in space, it would travel from here to the moon in eight seconds. It's the energy that powers the sun and the stars. It's just really hard to make that happen on Earth. To get that same kind of collision of nuclei, we need really high temperatures. So how do you deal with such a medium on Earth? We are building a tokamak, which is the machine that recreates the sun on Earth. We will generate vacuum and then plasmas, and then heat them up to a really high temperature. At ITER, we are building the tokamak as a place where you can really test as a basis for the future machines. Behind me is uh, the construction site of the ITER project. You will have 440 modules of a blanket covering all the vacuum vessel and facing the plasma and roughly about 600 meters square uh, in area. So you can think of a plasma as a ring of lightning which is traveling around the, the machine, held by strong magnets. The process is called magnetic confinement because basically it allows the plasma to be compressed and separated from the wall by a magnetic field. Yeah, so without magnet, it doesn't work. So in the Tokamak, we have uh, several types of magnets. These 18 blocks that you see surrounding the center here, they are the supports for the toroidal or D-shaped vertical magnets that will surround the uh, vacuum vessel. And in the end, when this is going to be removed, there will be a massive central solenoid. This will be the strongest magnet ever built by mankind. Used to power the plasma. Because they have to be really strong. The magnets are super cool. They're one of the coldest things in the universe. So in 10 meters, you go from nearly absolute zero to 150 million degrees. I can't imagine anywhere in space where, where you can find this kind of gradient. The role of ITER is really to demonstrate both the principle and the technology and the safety aspects on the device which has the size of a reactor. What we're trying to do at ITER is show that you can get more energy coming out of the machine than you put in. We are building a fusion device at industrial scale, which nobody have ever done. What we are trying to do in ITER, get the physics sorted, but do it in an environment which would be utilizable in the future. ITER is a sort of convergent national laboratory for all of the 35 countries involved to show that countries are able to work together in a sustained manner over several decades on a single conjoined uh, goal. A lot of people are working at ITER, not only on the site, but all over the world. We have great, great engineers across the world. Imagine that you need to build two components one company located in Europe and the component mirroring that is manufactured in Asia. You need to perfectly match and build the machine at almost like sub-millimeter precision. These genius engineers, they are scratching their head to come up with the engineering solution for the eater. There are tons of opportunities at ITER, so not just ones that we would normally think of that are associated with fusion. Of course, we need scientists, but we also need engineers. Electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, or material science, or it could be more like on the diagnostics. But on top of that, we have administration. We have legal. Finance, procurement, communications, logistical, secretarial, assistant. Working at ITER takes all kinds of people. So fusion, it, you collide two different things, particles, together to fuse, and that will bring a lot of energy up. At ITER, we bring different people, we work together, we have much bigger innovation happening. Hajime mashite, ITER e yokoso. 
、えー、私の名前は大前隆義と言います、えー、イーターの万博のコミッショナーを務めておりますまた普段は南フランスでイーター建設のプロジェクトマネジメントオフィスをやっております EXPO is an opportunity to showcase the future design to the new generation. It is where the next generation starts realizing that future. That's beautiful. You question, like, why are you planting the seeds? It's for, not for me, but it's for future generations. For my daughter. I may not see the day when. My entire phones and devices are harnessed by fusion. But if I don't do that today, my kids will never gain that. We know about the need for clean energy, baseload energy from climate change. Other countries characterize it more strongly in terms of energy security. What is the cost of geopolitical strife, armed conflicts, trade wars, etc., to position yourself next to petroleum resources? We better put all the required effort on it sooner than later. We have so much more to learn. We have to work more, say, in a more expedited way in order to address the problem of this planet. We have to work faster, I think. It's so significant impact to our society, and we have to do today. Because we will need it. <laughs>